from Mrs. Green Thumb and welcome to my channel. I just this is the update I wanted to do. I've been talking about it to show you my butterfly garden. And I'm gonna pan from right to left and I'll bring you in closer to show you some of the plants. So we're right here where we started at the fence. We go all the way down to right and there where the bricks are. And that's my newer plants right where the bricks are with um, a nice neighbor was kind enough to give me some da dahlias and I've moved some of my hostess over there and I've been working up, up here so I'm going to try to clean more until you hit that bush and I'm going to leave that alone like I was talking about because right now the bunnies are hiding under there um, for protection so I'm going to leave it be for now and the birds but next spring and fall I'll probably clean up this area so I can do all along the fence. Um, it is better for everybody because I'm getting rid of a lot of weeds that really shouldn't be there and some picker weeds and everything. And so let me pan back and I'm going to bring up the camera. It might be a little bit shaky, but we're going to move. And I'm going to pan to the right actually before I move up closer to the area. I want to show you this is we're putting a new fire pit in. And as you can see, uh, there's tomatoes in the second one now. I have hay over there. I have some squash and you can see the flowers blooming over there. There's asparagus you can see. I have um, the pinot peppers in there. There's gray and yellow zucchini. There's a, a Amish melon going. We'll see how it goes because I had issues putting on some um, certain powder. I was trying to get rid of knots in the house so I don't recommend that at all because it's very hard on my plants like I was saying and then we have there's three gourds up here that are growing for the trellis this year calabash gourds um, hostess and then I've already picked from my over here I have picked already some of my rhubarb and to strengthen it I'm kind of pulling it down and pulling the seed head off so that I'll get more asparagus but it's doing pretty good and that area I have to be careful because it holds the water in so I water way less over there this year. That's what I learned from all these, this, these years of having it. That certain areas need more water and others don't drain as well so you lay off on the water. So let me bring you in closer and show you a couple of the plants that I got up here. I'll start off by the smaller section right here. I have hostesses in here and I keep the labels on here. A little bit crooked, sorry, as I do this, but I have to move the camera to show you so you can see it. Right there I have, these are all perennials I've added in and it's, I'm trying to read of what that one was because it's a new plant that I've never had before so let's bring you in closer. I think I'm showing it right here. This new millennium, new new millennium. Uh, so that's the newest one I put in here, and that was the bush in the back. Let's see if I can see it. I'll get you pinned back out. And the bush in the back it was from last year's butterfly one, and there should be some more other things coming up. But I've added um, there's creeping Jenny um, in here. And let me bring you up here more. So hopefully you can see all the stuff. I I added um oh there we go, let's see. It's hard because it's really sunny to see what I'm showing you. Alright. So we have I have three of those. Amer Ameria, Ameria, Armeria. Those are perennials, which are really cool. There's I got two different colors in here. And then, like at the bottom, I think you can see it is um, lavender. I put a piece of lavender in there to see if it grew. Last time I separated lavender, it killed the part where I separated. This year, the lavender seems to be okay. I separated a piece, put it in here. So far, so good. It's going there. You can see it right down here. And I was given by my neighbor. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to get the name of the plants right here, but these are perennials that she has all over. It's red. You can see them they're like red bells, and I have about four of them in here. She gave me four plants. So then we're going to move over here is another one new for this year. 
and I have um, let me see if I can read it from here these are new ones so I can't wait to see I'll get to know them better um, as each year goes by like I'll get to know all of them see down the below I'm not sure the name of that one right at the back it's purple and then I got some down here Let's see, right at the bottom I got I bought two English daisies um, my azalem, oh, azillums are right there. They're, they're, we have to wait till they take, but I, I'm doing a video on that. And alyssum, sorry, alyssum. And then we have back here. You see back there I have some milkweed. I bought a couple of those. You'll see one at the end here. Alright, and so let's see what else we got. We got a butterfly bush. There's another, the second one. The butterfly bush is over there. There's two of them I have in here. There's another butterfly bush just from this year. And then I have uh, another plant right here. Let's see. What's the name of them? I can't really see them. That's why I'm trying to tell you. At a later date, I'll bring them in closer as they bloom, and I'll really say the names of all these plants separately as they start to bloom. They're fairly new for this year, so it's going to take. I'm watering them a lot to make sure they get really rooted and it look they look good the green is maintained on them so I know I'm watering them enough okay that is a candy mountain fox glove right there the bigger bush let's go down here and we have another new one that was given to me uh, by my daughter actually she gave me that one and this one let's see if I can see it right here I think you got it in view and it's uh, a snowdrop it's called powder puff snowdrop so this should bloom pink flowers now it might not be this year because a lot of perennials won't give me your flowers the first year it takes about two years a lot of times to grow flowers here's another one of my armeria um, okay and at the back over here I have another butterfly bush technically I guess I have three I have there's milkweed back there another butterfly bush and um, it has to strengthen but right there I'm growing nasturtium nasturtium which I've always oh, had a hard time pronouncing it oh there's a bee right in there looking happy there so anyways I'm gonna have that grow because it looks like it's kind of a vine that's the first year growing them and I'm gonna get them moving up the vine now they are annual but apparently they receive themselves there's a chance and so that's gonna go up and um, another plant that I threw out, I just didn't show you, was they're over there. I have periwinkle all over the place in here too. So periwinkles all over and creeping jenny. So um, and here, on a closer view, there's a little stand. I recycled this beam that I was talking about right here. Um, I wanted to do something with it. It was a pole. So I'll replant, you put the cement part in and there's another thing over here I want to do something with but I haven't figured out what I want to do with it yet so I put I have three hostesses and the lady was nice enough my neighbor to give me some day lilies so hopefully when they take we're going to see what they look like and eventually I will move all this stuff around even more next year right now I'm just going to maintain it and clean it and this is what we're looking at what I'm working on with a closer view uh, let's see if I can bring it back for you we'll go back here and as you can see all those logs I found buried underneath that where those tree bushes are where that's the part where I want to let the bunnies be this year and I'm going to clean all the left side of this up so it's all nice and clear I'm keeping bricks and wood and some of the rocks and the tree stumps are hidden in there I'm pulling them out because that's going to be part of next year as I move forward to clean all this up I'm going to use all that in it so there's not much more to show you but um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will give you updates later on as the perennials and the annuals bloom better I'll come back and show you how everything's doing but I'd like to thank you for watching my channel and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much bye for now